here we go. Hey everyone, Happy New Year! Thanks for coming back for another video today. You might be thinking, what am I doing? Why am I sat here talking in front of you to a camera? Well, good question. One of my New Year's resolutions this year is to be a lot more positive and to have a lot more energy. And I feel that one way I can do that is by creating kind of vlog style videos where once a week I will just post what we have done and what we are going to possibly do in a couple of weeks or what's gone on. And even some cultural points that we kind of have going on in Japan at this time of year, depending on which time of year you're watching this video. Just for those of you that might be tuning in for the first time, hello, my name is Bob and I will be taking you on this journey today. So we are now in 2021 and New Year's vacation has come to an end. What have we been up to? Well, actually we've been up to quite a bit. So on the first day of my vacation, actually I kind of had to go into work. Um, one of the computers was playing up and I'm the only person that could really handle it. So that was a couple of hours, but I mean, that is what it is. It just needed to be done. But then after that, on the next day, I went out to some sake breweries with my friend Lee. We went out to a place called Uozaki Ozaki is between Kobe and Osaka. Um, I'll write it somewhere down below wherever here is, I don't know. But if you're in Japan, definitely go check it out because they have an array of different sake breweries where you can go, you can try different sake. It's a great day out. It really is fantastic. There is a place that I do recommend you all for sake if you are in Japan. It's in Kyoto in an area called Fushimi. And that district around Fushimi has like, for example, the Gekkeikan, which is one sake brewery. There's a lot of breweries around there and it's a great day out. Every year they actually have a sake festival. Last year it was cancelled because of very obvious reasons. I don't think they wanted to spread the plague. But yeah, that is a great, great day out. And I really want to go back there again soon. So maybe we could do some filming. Who knows? Who knows? But then the next day, the wife and I we went out to Ikea. We just had a little look at some shopping and then we went out for tea. We had some delicious tea. We actually had some really nice kind of mochi and we saw them making mochi live, which was kind of cool. I did take a little bit of video, so I'll just put a tiny bit of that up here. But that was a really, really nice day out. We also went out with some friends to Nipponbashi, which is south of Osaka. Down there, we went out and got some more anime figures. Let me just show you what we got. First off, we saw a title Rem figure. Every year they release a Taito Miku figure, but this is the first year that they hadn't released one, so I thought, wait, what's going on? I guess this is the reason why. And I'm not complaining, I do love my Rem figure, so very, very happy we got hold of this one. She was about 2,300 yen. We tried to win her, and we couldn't buy her in the shop, so uh, yeah, I thought it was quite a good steal. And there's one more figure. We also got a Hatsune Miku Noodle Stopper. This is the China version figure. This was really, really cool. We saw it in the shop, it was about 1,300 yen, so that's 13 bucks. And yeah, how could you say no? This looks really, really cool. So uh, yeah, I'm actually quite excited to open this one. Um, I'm excited to open all of them, of course. But yeah, this is a cool, cool addition to the team. Damn trains. Damn, damn trains. This is why some of the figure openings seems a bit jittery because there's always trains going by. All right, let's continue. But other than that, we had a very, very nice relaxing new year. We watched Gaki no Tsukai, it was really cool. Actually, it wasn't as good as it usually is, but I think that's because of the current situation again. Uh, we also went out for some delicious food. Uh, it was really, really nice. We had to wait a fair bit to get in there, but it was lovely. I had good social distancing, so it was all good, which was nice. And then we just had a nice quiet ride on the train back home with a beautiful sunset. So it was a really, really, really lovely New Year's vacation. So typically around New Year's time, Japanese people tend to do two things. The first one is they will go back to their hometowns to see their family. Now, I think that's a lovely thing. It's kind of nice to do. But in this climate, it feels like it's probably not the best thing to do. Well, most people went back to their hometowns, of course. People have become very, very complacent with COVID here. And it's a bit of a shame. It doesn't help that the numbers are very, very low here, but that's actually a very positive thing. We don't have huge numbers, meaning that we can actually still kind of do things without feeling too worried, I think is the right word. For example, Tokyo the other day had over a thousand people. That's the first time it's hit over a thousand people ever. And that's really a small number. I mean, it's tiny when you think about it. But, but anyway, long story short, I think that a lot of people have gone home and it may lead to a little bit more spreading of COVID. So fingers crossed it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. But the second thing people typically do around the New Year season is go out to Hatsumore. Hatsumore is where you go to a temple or a shrine and you just pray for good luck and good fortune for the rest of the year. 
You can also get something called an omikuji, which is a good luck fortune. It's a piece of paper that you get given and it can range from anything from amazing luck, which is the daikichi, to the really, really terrible luck, which is daikyo. Well, I've been very lucky to be on both ends of the set, uh, spectrum here, and yeah, I don't think lucky is the right word, maybe unlucky in some sense. But usually that has a ton of people. Last year we went out to Sumiyoshi Taisha, and that was a beautiful place down in South Osaka. Highly recommend it again, please do check it out. But yeah, I don't think this year they had that many people because of, well, obvious reasons. But overall, it's been a really, really nice start to 2021. My New Year's resolution, as I mentioned very early on in this video, is just to be a lot more positive and just to have a lot more energy in everything that I do. So one of the reasons for making this video series is just to kind of talk about what's going on, just keep a bit of positivity and just to kind of like vlog, because I've never vlogged on this channel before, so it's kind of cool to do something like this. But hey, this is my first time. This might have been a terrible video, I have no idea. So if there's something you want to see, please do let me know below. I will definitely read your comments. I will try to reply if I can. I'm going to try and make well one of these videos once a week. So hopefully I can get them out on Sundays in Japan time. So fingers crossed that will be coming to you every week. But that's everything from me. We have another figure opening coming soon. Hopefully in the middle of next week, I will try and edit and get it up. I have also filmed the top 10 figures for last year video. So I'm really hoping that I can get that finally edited and kind of uploaded too. So next week should have a couple of videos, but if I don't see you then, I will see you in another video on Sunday. Okay, bye bye! So we got a ring light. I've never had a ring light. It makes my eyes look really, really weird. I've never seen this before. Um, it's kind of cool. It lights up my face. Maybe this we can use in the figure openings. But hey, thanks all for watching. Please do subscribe, please do like the video, and I look forward to seeing you in many, many more videos coming soon. Okay, bye-bye.